Really? Yeah, pure and simple. Hey everybody, this is Not A Spring Chicken with Halloween Approaching, one of the hottest masks available this year. Like, well, let's just say that they always have the current president, always has a mask as well as sometimes the runners up and things like that. But the hot mask this year is President Barack Obama, but don't get caught wearing it because they're already saying you're racist if you wear a mask with his face on it. Well, for now, we're going to bring old Cam on with comments on the headlines of today. Even your television set can be used by purpose. And it's all over for the Republicans. Well, absolutely, because they said the Republicans are, are um, they're, they're basically starting to fold like a, you know, like a folding chair because they, the, they, there's the, the part, the group that they always knew they could count on uh, is going to vote to end all of the stuff because they're demanding the president, let these people vote and they'll give us a clear, a clear thing. That's why, they're, that's why Boehner knows he's out on his rear end if he holds a vote because they're going to go, they're going to support the president's demands and when you support the president's demands, he then controls the whole country until the next election, which actually in, in November, if they can get the things up, you're going to see 39 Republicans, including Boehner, out of office. Oh, really? Yep. And the Tea Party hacked the Obamacare websites, which is why they were down. Well, that's what they said. That was the, uh, they, they, here's the thing is, they, they, there was a question. How is it that the, that the uh, Stop Obamacare website has added 500,000 signatures this week and the Obamacare site is basically down continually? And then it dawned, they've hacked our site. That's, that's got to be it, that they're basically trying to prevent people from getting affordable care. Well, no, I mean, I'm, I'm like yesterday, <laughs> we're, we're talking one of the things is definitely not right wing and they had virtually they had 99 percent of the comments were negative over they did a story about a woman that the republicans are trying to hurt on the affordable care act she runs a business you know she makes no money at the business she's in a poverty level but she runs a business and makes no money and she couldn't afford health care for her and her daughter so what happened is the affordable health care act allows her to get health care for free for her and her daughter and she can't understand why people don't want me to have health care and then go oh, had the blast work because you're not paying for the damn thing I am. Mm -hmm. And so and then there's just one I mean it really got nasty by the end of it. Oh, and one really? of the guys said he said, I happen to be a black businessman. I really don't like paying for health care for some other black person that won't get off her business. They won't get off her fat ass and pay for it herself. She said, you know, she runs a business. You don't run a business and ma without making money. But according to her, she doesn't make enough money to pay for health care. Something's wrong there, mm -hmm. folks. And U.S. farm law expires again with lawmakers split on new bill. Because it's, uh, it's got to do with the food stamps. They're not going to give Obama his $40 billion. Okay, Obama has over, here's the same thing. You know the same people that support the, the same people that support Obamacare is exactly the same amount of people that he's added to the welfare ranks since he's become president. Mm -hmm. And frozen by shutdown, U.S. warns of catastrophic well, default. Okay, they now know, okay, this came out of the White House yesterday. The White House is trying to ignore it. They, you know, they said that this couldn't work out better if we'd have planned it. Of course, we did actually plan it is what they said. He said, the more hurt that we, that we can cause the people in this nation, the more power we're going to have when it's over. Mm -hmm. And the White House didn't even want to talk. Basically, the left has been asking about that. He said, we have it. It's on, it is from the White House. Well, they say, well, we don't know who sent that out, but that's not what we, anyone would have said. They said it comes from the White House. Mm -hmm. It was sent from the White House. Somebody said it. Well, we would not have sent anything out from the White House. The guy, once again, the person on the left, it was sent from the White House. You people sent it out because somebody, basically the first time they said anybody has spoken the truth in this whole thing. And then this morning it came out. People that are basically do not like this president and, the, and are basically blowing the whistle on him. Well, the President of the United States has said we need to inflict as much pain on the American public as we possibly can so that he can take back the House and turn this country the direction he wants to turn it. And he said, would you like to see the memo saying that the White, the President, it, it would be to your benefit and the, the President would like you to do this, the memos are all saying. Mm. They're ordering Parks Department, they're ordering Human Health Resources, the Veterans Administration, all these people to hurt as many people as you can. I mean, this clown is even, he even shut down 
the, 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 the Normandy Beach, uh, you know, the graveyard at Normandy Beach. I did. What Herbie Daddy said? He has no authority to shut it down, and the French are pissed like you cannot believe. That's not your property. That's French ground, Mr. President. Mm. That is a French park. It is not an American. And you ordered it shut. They put barricades up to keep the Europeans out of a European graveyard that has mm -hmm. Americans in it. Yeah, that didn't go over well. They shut down Colonial Williamsburg. And U.S. farm law expires again with lawmakers split on new <coughs> No, Herbie Daddy says she liked that one, so uh -huh. she said it twice. That's right. And frozen by shutdown, the U.S. warns of catastrophic default. I know, she said that one twice, too. She, oh. That's how you felt five. I know. Radio <laughs> blackout cited in deaths of 19 firefighters. Uh, no, it's called a bunch of... P okay. Uh, I worked on a movie called, I think, My Montana, Montana Skies with Richard Woodmark and Jeffrey Hunter, where basically the people went the wrong direction and they died as a result of it. These people are hot shots, and they, they get the name hot shots because they basically are got eagles. They think they can do anything. They went above the fire line. You know what happens? My, um, one of the people who used to be the coach of my baseball team when I was little was the fire, the fire, you know, the chief of the fire department in Los Angeles. He basically would preach to people. He'd take the kids over on a tour of everything. He said, the first thing we teach people at the academy is don't get above the fire. And this is what these people did. They got above the fire, it got behind them, and they got hit by 2,000 degrees heat, which basically melted all of the, the, the protections they had. So. And Congress made certain they get paid. Oh, isn't that amazing? Or they got paid. They gave themselves, they voted for their own paychecks to be paid and then shut everybody else up. Because this is Republicans and Democrats alike, voted to keep their paychecks going. And illegal immigrants can't get driver's licenses under the new California law. And they're already hitting, well, no, they cannot vote using a driver's license. They said that's all you need to be able to vote is a driver's license. Well, there's supposed to be a thing on the driver's licenses that said it's a, you know, like a, a per, you know, provisional or something. No, there's, the driver's licenses are all clear. Everybody that's getting a driver's license can register to vote, and they're not legal to vote. And he said, Brown said, well, that's not supposed to be that way. And they said, it is that way, Mr. G well, we're going to have to look into it. Well, you know he's not stupid. Mm -hmm. They knew that they could add, you know, two or three million new voters to the Democratic Party in California that way. But what happens is they've been caught, mm -hmm. and they've already, the, here it is, there is divisions of the government that the President of the United States does not control, and the Justice Department does not control, and one of them happens to be the old, mean, and nasty voting rights. Mm -hmm. And they're basically, oh, they I mean, they're coming to California with a passion. And airlines promise a return to, to civility for a fee. Oh, yeah, you have to now, you, well, you got to pay for pillows, you got to pay for blankets, you got to pay for magazines, you now have to pay for water. That's returning <laughs> to civility. You pay you for You do? All, yeah. You now have to pay for water on the plane. And shut down affected border prosecutions. No, because the court system still functions no matter what. What happens is Obama basically before that had ordered no trials be, okay, you could come across the United, okay, it could be like Pancho Villa. If Pancho Villa was alive today, he could raid Nogales, burn the city to the ground, and then the President of the United States, okay, you know, ICE people, please escort Mr. Villa back across the border because he's a, you know, he's the type of person we want in this country. And if he wants to raid El Paso and burn it to the ground, okay, uh, what you do is you make certain that nobody interferes with he doing it because we want these people in our country. And triumphant Merkel reaches out to leftist rivals. Um, yeah, that's not going to happen <laughs> because the, the people on one side or the other never jump to the other side to help them in the slightest in this world. And U.S. judge rejects a bid to halt enforcement of Maryland gun law. Uh, well, yeah, because it's, you know, it's unconstitutional, but they don't care. I mean, okay, what happens is they pass these laws that basically, re basically take away handguns and stuff, and then they go to the Supreme Court, and the Supreme Court says you can't do it, and then as soon as it goes into effect, the Supreme Court goes into effect, they just simply ignore it. And a Monty bubble is in front of the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Well, it's all in the timing. <laughs>